This is a quick demonstration of the new management integration that exists with Extreme SW, the uh, software that goes with our server-based flash technologies at EMC. This is part of the Extreme SW 2.0 release, which also includes other things like support for vMotion, um, support for integration with Unisphere for VNX and for VMAX customers. What I'm going to show here is that via this management center, you can actually integrate directly with vCenter. So for example, I'm going to add a vCenter host right now. Adding a vCenter host is ridiculously easy. You just put in the host name or the IP address, uh, the necessary uh, credentials, which could be uh, full admin credentials if you want, or a read-only user with uh, the necessary uh, access. And um, this then allows you to add um, cards to be managed that are being managed by vCenter that are virtual. Of course, you could use Extreme SF cards in physical hosts, whether they be UCS servers or traditional rack mount servers, uh, in physical hosts or in virtualized hosts, whether they're using VMware or Hyper-V or whatever. Uh, but of course, like all things EMC, there's a lot of uh, VMware integration. So we're going to finish adding this vCenter host and we're done. Now, um, the beautiful thing about that is that we can then uh, use a wizard to create a shared data store in a, a single way that uh, exists across multiple hosts inside a cluster. So for example, here, we're gonna select a cluster. And again, all of the cluster information is now being gathered directly from vCenter. And um, we'll go in and we'll identify um, what will be the uh, data stores that we want to create. So we're gonna pick the uh, EMC Extreme SF uh, device or uh, a LUN that's going to be used here for a data store that is going to be cached. Um, so here it's a data store that's a shared data store on a VNX array that we're going to apply Extreme SW caching to increase its performance. So the next step is to go in and take a look at the host that we've got. You'll notice that we've got a virtual machine and an ESX host. We're going to pick the ESX host here and we're going to go in and we're going to say this is a host where uh, using uh, the Extreme SW uh, cache software we want to take some cards and use that to provide acceleration for a shared data store. Here we're going to select the EMC uh, Extreme SF card or server flash um, and uh, this Extreme SF card has got a total capacity uh, that's usable of about 100, uh, 320 gigs. And uh, this is now a cache pool that could be uh, applied to multiple devices uh, that could cache all the devices in the host, or you might want to focus that resource on, on one or two. Um, now that we've got that pool, as you can see, um, we can now apply it as a cache device for that individual shared data store function. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say, okay, let's go down to an individual virtual machine uh, where you know currently there's no cache acceleration applied to it and let's apply some of that uh, extreme SW cache pool uh, to be able to um, start to accelerate the performance of that individual virtual machine. It's very simple simply by clicking on add cache we can go and make sure that we've got um, the uh, uh, extreme SW cache device um, and you can see that it says okay great I found uh, the Extreme SW cache device, if one had previously existed, um, it would have uh, skipped that step. And then you can uh, identify a few parameters. How much cache would you like to allocate? What's the maximum I.O. size that you want to allocate? Do you want to use deduplication, yes or no? And then uh, enabling it is as simple as saying OK. In many cases, in many workloads, this has a dramatic effect in dramatically increasing performance, reducing latency, uh, decreasing the load on the shared storage subsystem. The killer use cases are absolutely uh, SQL Server, some SharePoint, but also uh, certain VDI use cases where uh, the, the uh, workload is small enough to fit inside a server-based uh, PCIe cache device cost-effectively. Uh, if it's larger than that, EMC's Extreme I.O. portfolio is incredibly compelling. So here we're adding the individual LUN um, to uh, the cache pool. And uh, there, it's as simple as that. We are now done. You can see that we've got a series of devices. And here when I had set a LUN, it wasn't actually a, uh, the data store. It was actually the individual devices within the guest. Um, so here you can see that SDB and SDC are both being cached by the Extreme SW software. Simple, easy, 
uh, huge performance increase, just awesome capabilities out of uh, the extreme portfolio from EMC that leverages flash technology on the server and in all flash arrays.